Hello friends, today I will be here with some account receivables interview questions. If you are preparing for account receivables interview, then this video is very helpful for you. But first of all, if you are new member to our family, then please hit on subscribe button and press the bell icon so you get notified for all interview related questions and latest job updates. Now we will move to the question and answer. So first question is, what is an account receivables? Account receivable is the balance of money due to a firm for goods or services delivered or used but not yet paid by the customers. Account receivables are listed on the balance sheet as a current asset. Account receivables are created when a company lets a buyer purchase their goods or services on credit. The strength of company's ARs can be analyzed with the account receivable turnover ratio or day sales outstanding. Benefits of Account Receivable Account Receivable is an important aspect of the business fundamental analysis. Account Receivable is a current asset so it measures a company's liquidity or ability to cover short term obligations without additional cash flows. So next question is what are the goals of Account Receivable? The main objective in Account Receivable Management is to minimize the day sales outstanding and processing cost whilst maintaining good customer relations. Here are some points from which they are effectively managed. First, keep customers contact information updated, integrate a structured credit approval process, send the invoice as soon as possible, send reminder emails, automate your billing process give customers multiple payment options. Next question is what is reconciliation? Reconciliation is an accounting process that compares two sets of records to check that figures are correct and in agreement. Reconciliation also confirms that accounts in the general ledger are consistent, accurate and complete. Companies use reconciliation to prevent balance sheet errors on their financial accounts check for fraud and to reconcile the general ledger. Next question is, what is the table that is used for aging bucket report? What is the main purpose of this report? The age receivables report or table defined to age your debit items. Aging bucket are the used in the aging reports to see both current and outstanding debit items. For example, you can define an aging bucket, but that includes all debit items that are for 1 to 30 days past you, normal table used for this report is 1 to 30 days, 30 to 60 days, 60 to 90 days, 90 to 180 days and also over 180 days. Next question is, what are the go three golden rules of accounts? So the three golden rules of accounts is debit the receiver, credit the giver, debit what comes in, credit what goes out debit all expenses and losses and credit all incomes and gains. Next question is explain what is BRs. Bank reconciliation statement is a statement which records differences between the bank statements and general ledger. A BRs means matching records for a cash account entries corresponding to the bank statement. The differences may arise because of the following reasons checks deposited into bank but not yet collected by bank checks issued by the organization but not yet presented for payment, checks directly deposited by customers into the bank, bank charges debited by bank, interest credited or some receipts directly collected by bank based on organization request, some payments directly made by bank based on the organization request. Is the next question. What are the example of deferred revenue expenditure? It is an expenditure the benefit of which will be realized over the period and not during the current period. For example, heavy advertisement expenditure incurred by the company for promoting the product. The benefits of this huge expenditure will be realized over the period and not in the same period when it is incurred. Next question is what is effective collection? It depends on the credit period of the company. For example, a company credit period 30 days if 85% of the debtor's collection should be recovered within credit period, then we can say effective collection. Next question is, how to define intercompany transaction and account receivable? Intercompany transaction are those transactions that takes place between two or more entities of the same group of company. 
so the receivable of one entity would be the payable of another entity all intercompany transactions are eliminated before preparing the final balance sheet of the group company next question is is the account receivable an asset or liability as we have learned in question number 1 account receivable is an asset account on the balance sheet that represents money due to a company in the short term account receivable are cre created when a company lets a buyer purchase their goods or services on credit so what is the difference between accounts payable and account receivable accounts receivable is the amount that customers of the companies owe to it accounts payable is the amount that the companies owe to its suppliers account receivable is on the current asset of the balance sheet account payable is on the current liability of the balance sheet account receivable account is created because of the selling of goods and services accounts payable is created because of purchasing material on credit next question is what is total flow of account receivable flow of account receivable should be in proportion to the accounts payable that is in terms of ratio 2 is to 1 what are the roles of account receivable an account receivable is responsible for specific roles in the accounting department for any organization these includes maintaining the billing system generating the invoices and account statements performing account reconciliation maintaining the account receivables records and files producing management reports and monthly financial investigating and finally resolving reg regulation or inquiries these were a few questions that you may be asked in an account receivable interview you need to answer them smartly it would be best if you appeared confident and well suited for the job at hand you can learn a few tips for managing anxiety that will help you in your job interview success in an interview is more than just answering the question correctly it involves even the way you speak also you can watch my playlist of commonly asked questions so you can prepare for common questions like tell me about yourself or why should we hire you if you want me to create a video on a particular domain interview question then please comment us below so i'll create video on that domain thank you for watching this video if you like this video then please hit on like button and share this video with your friends also press the bell icon so you get notified for all the videos and subscribe our channel for more relevant videos related to interview questions and latest job updates